what does that bone need to do? It needs to get longer and it needs to get wider. So there are two separate processes that do those two things. Um, one is gonna be called linear bone growth. And the other one, the widening is oppositional growth. Okay, so first, linear bone growth. This process is very similar to what occurs in endochondral ossifications. Ossification, um, we're forming bone tissue actually, right? Because the bone has to grow longer. One main difference is linear bone growth only occurs at the epiphyseal plates. And this occurs, these are the growth plates um, through adolescence. Once linear growth is done, these plates are now called epiphyseal lines um, where they are no longer active. The epiphyseal plates are different because they actually contain dividing chondrocytes. Um, these columns of chondrocytes that are continually, continually growing and causing the bone to grow. So it's an active plate. And so long bone growth occurs as long as that plate is active. So this plate is, is um, present in children and ad adolescents. So what's happening in this picture here is basically the same as this, but this is a histology picture. Here you can see we're zoomed in to the edge of a long bone where um, this would be the knee. This is the epiphyseal plate. Um, and this would be actually the end of this bone here. Um, you can see the plate on this x-ray here. So what's gonna happen is the chondrocytes are going to be dividing and pushing up this way. As the, so here we have chondrocytes dividing up towards the top. Below that, chondrocytes are going to be enlarging and then die. They are then going to be replaced by what do you think these little guys are? Um, osteoblasts that will then calcify and be bone. Um, this on is however still dividing cartilage. So it's gonna continue and continue and keep depositing bone on the underside. This process is triggered by a couple of hormones. So growth hormone, which is high during um, periods of adolescence, young, young kids and adolescents. Um, this actually triggers proliferation, dividing of these chondrocytes to increase this length, um, also increases calcium retention in the bone. Um, sex steroids also stimulate bone growth. So testosterone and estrogens that are increased in levels at, at puberty. So that's linear bone growth. I'm actually gonna do appositional in a separate video.